Hello again, this is Youth Pastor Aaron bringing you day 52 of M90's Memorize 90 Scriptures in 90 Days. And as always, remember to pray before you get into this scripture um, memorization uh, and, and review, uh, especially now that we're talking about how prayer is essential to our, uh, our daily walk with God. Make sure that you are praying as you enter into these things. The Word of God makes much more sense when we're in tune with Him. After all, he's the author. He wrote it. Um, and we've been going through the Lord's Prayer and, and how, how it is set up as a, as a structure for us. Not to repeat word, at, word for word, but, but to pray in like manner. Okay, um, we're, we're, We start out with a relationship. Our Father, who art in heaven, and begin to open ourselves up to him. And then we move into praise. Hallowed be thy name. We want to praise his name and lift him higher. And when we do that, it brings, it brings us down. It, it, humi it brings humility into our hearts and humbleness. And, and as we do that, we, we pray that his will would be, would be done. Um, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because we can be that hand that, that accomplishes his will. And that can be something as simple as sharing the gospel to a friend at school or at work. The next part uh, bring, brings us into including Bible reading into our daily prayers. Matthew chapter 6, verse 11 is today's scripture, and it says, Give us this day our daily bread. When we begin to humble ourselves, we, we, we're, we're, we're making the flesh lower and, and weaker. And in doing that, we need sustenance for the spirit. If we're going to make the flesh weaker, we've got to make our spirit stronger. So we've got to feed the Spirit. And one way we feed the Spirit is with the Word of God. Um, Jesus said in, in John chapter 6, I believe it was, he said that he was the bread of life. He said, I am the bread of life. And the words that he spoke are important. And if we begin to eat those, and we begin to include Bible reading into our daily prayers, it's going to just liven us. As a recommendation, I, I encourage you to check out uh, Psalms. Because there are many prayers that David prayed that, that can be meaningful to you here today. So let's, let's do this all together. We've got three verses here. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. I want to encourage you... Uh, if you've been taking this prayer time seriously and you take this into your heart, I want to encourage you to start a prayer journal. Uh, it's, it can be very helpful to see yourself pray over the years. My mom showed me a, a, a prayer journal, so to speak, from Sunday school a while back. And, and one of the prayers on there that I had, in fact, it's, the funny thing is, is it was the only prayer in that prayer book was, I want my dad to receive the Holy Ghost. And I'm so thankful that I wrote that down because that has come to pass. And don't ever underestimate the power of prayer. It is powerful. In James it says, The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man, man availeth much. That means it works. So your prayer, your prayer, although sometimes it feels cliche, I'm going to pray for you, sister. I'm going to pray for you, brother. Oh, that's difficult. I'm going to keep you in my prayers. It means the world, as long as you are actually praying. You go ahead and continue to pray. Include it into a daily ritual, not just ritual, because that sounds like it's getting into a religion kind of thing, but a daily relationship with your Savior. Uh, this is Youth Pastor Aaron. Remember to check out the playlist to get yourself caught up and review old lessons and include these daily prayer times in your life. Youth Pastor Aaron, out.